Hi, and welcome to our video on the particle theory of matter for Year 8 Science. So um, let's get started. And the learning intentions for this video is hopefully by the end of the video, you'll be able to understand the particle theory of matter. Um, you can describe how the particle theory can explain the properties and behavior of matter as it changes state. So it's really important that we know how to do that. And we're going to understand and describe the properties of each of the states of matter. And that's using, I guess, the particle uh, theory to to um, describe those properties. All right, so we saw this model in the last um, video, and that described all the three states um, of matter there, solids, liquids, and gases. And now what we're going to look at is these particles, what is the theory around those particles when it comes to, um, when it comes to matter? So there's five main points to the particle theory. We can see them here. Number one, all particle is made up of tiny, all matter, sorry, is made up of tiny particles. Number two, all particles have spaces between them. So there's actually empty space between the particles. Um, all particles of one pure substance are the same. And different substances are made of different particles. That means it's, uh, one type of substance, of particles in one substance, like gold, for instance, are not the same as particles of copper. So they've got different sizes, different masses. So it's a, they're a little bit different. Um, the particles are always moving. And the more energy they have, the faster they move and the higher their temperature. So there's a direct relationship between the energy of the particles and their temperature. As they heat up, as they get faster, they get higher temperature. As they cool down, they get slower, they get lower temperature. And we'll show that in the, um, in the animation. And all particles have forces of attraction between them. And these forces are stronger the closer the particles are. So let's have a look at the animation that shows how the particle theory can explain the behavior of matter. Okay, so here we have an animation that's going to help us look at the particles in solids, liquids, and gases, and I guess um, how the particle theory can actually explain the changes of state. So if we start as a solid, you can see here we've got um, a solid in the, in the beaker, and when we click on the solid, you'll actually see the um, the particles come up and you'll see the particles here they're arranged in a regular pattern they're tightly packed and what they're doing is they're, they're moving and they're moving just really slowly they're actually vibrating on the spot so that's how solids get their solid structure is they're actually arranged in a very tight pattern and there's really really strong forces between those particles and then i guess as we add heat the particles start to move faster so they start to start to collide against each other more and then they start to actually move apart a bit bit further and as they move apart the forces the energy that they've gained actually overcome the forces of attraction and what we actually then see if we have a look here when we actually increase the, um, the particles start to move faster now they're still close together there's still a uh, there's still attraction between them but it's not as strong and now they can actually start to flow so what we actually see is like a liquid motion where they start flowing over each other um, and you've seen you would have seen uh, the properties of, of liquid where, where it flows and um, starts to take the shape of containers that it's in and you can see the um the here you can see the liquids actually taking the shape of the container that it's in um, the particles aren't evenly um, arranged, so they are quite random and they do flow over each other. As we heat it up more, the particles start to gain more and more energy. And what we then actually start to see, <coughs> excuse me, is some of these particles start to gain enough energy that they actually spread right out and, and they gain enough energy to overcome the forces between them and they actually pretty much go on their own and they fly off. And we'll actually start to see here in the water we actually start to see these bubbles actually appearing. And that's actually the gas in the water. And these particles, look at them here, they're actually flying around really quickly. Now, the, the force of attraction between those particles is really weak. They, they've got so much energy that they, they just can't, they, they're not, they can't bond together. Um, and the space between them is really, really large. So there's lots of empty space between them, and they're moving so fast. Um, and... And what they'll do, they'll actually, if they're in a, in a container, they'll actually take the shape of the container um, and they'll fill that container up out in the open. They just spread out into the open. Um, so that's the difference there. So um, that's heating up. Now, as we actually get cooler, so if I go back to liquid, 
<clears throat> what starts to happen as we call the um, as we call the matter, the particles start to slow down a bit. So they actually then go from being gas and they slow down and the particles start to actually get closer and closer together and as they hit each other their forces of attraction are stronger than the energy they have and they start to join together and they become a liquid again. So the particles have actually slowed down, they've dropped temperature enough to actually um, join together and then actually start to flow like a liquid so you can see here. Now the last thing that we do is if we keep cooling it they get slower and slower and the forces of attraction get stronger and stronger until, until we see them actually become solid again and they just take that solid, that tight, regular structure. Now, with you can see there, with when it does freeze, it will freeze in the shape that it actually was in when it was when it changed when it changed state. So we spoke about what the terms were between the changes in state. So going from solid to liquid. That's melting, going from liquid to gas, that's evaporating. Coming back from gas to liquid, we call that uh, condensing or condensation. And from liquid to solid, we call that freezing. So there's the animation. What we'll do is we'll go back and have a look at, um, have a look at some of the properties of each of the, um, each of the states of matter. What we have now is we're going to look at the, um, the particle files, I like to call them, of uh, each of the different states of matter. So if we look at the solids particle file, here are some properties that we have of the solids at the particle level that allow us to, I guess, determine if it's a solid or if it's a liquid or if it's a gas. So in this case, for solids, our spacing of our particles is very close. Our particle attraction is very, very strong. Our movement is slow. They cannot move freely, but they vibrate in a fixed position. Their shape is fixed. They will remain in the shape that they were. Um, their volume is fixed. The, the volume doesn't change. And, are, and they're not able to be compressed. So they're not able to be pushed into a smaller, into a smaller space. So, um, that's, they're the, they're the properties of solids. If we look at liquids, the spacing of particles, it's still close, but not as close as solids. The attraction is medium to strong. The movement of the particles is medium, it's not super fast like gas, it's not really slow like um, like solid, but they do move rapidly and they're able to slide over each other, so that's how we get the liquid motion. The shape is not fixed, so the particles actually will spread and take up the shape of the container. The volume is fixed, so when we pour 50 millilitres of water from one container to another, it stays as 50 millimetres, and the space between the particles is still small enough that they're not able to be compressed into a smaller space. Finally, if we have a look at gases, now if we look at the spacing of the particles, they're really far apart. The attraction is really weak between the particles. The movement is very fast. They move rapidly and they're able to move apart freely. Gas particles move really, really quickly. The shape is not fixed. So it moves out until it is spread evenly throughout its container. The volume is fixed, however. The same amount of the, the, the same amount of that space that it takes up is still the same. And are they able to be compressed? Yes, they are. Um, you're able to actually push that into a smaller space, so uh, particles of air can actually, or gas, can be pushed into a smaller space. All right. So let's recap the particle theory of matter. Basically, the particle theory helps scientists to explain the properties and behavior of matter, in particular as it changes state. As matter is heated, they gain energy, they increase in temperature until they overcome the forces of attraction and change state. In reverse, as matter is cool, the particles lose energy, they decrease temperature, and as they get closer to each other, the forces of attraction overcome the energy they have and they, then they change the state again. And each different state has its own unique properties, and these are related to the structure of the particles in that state. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you again next time.